All right, let's see what the range rule has to say about my mowing. Now, the range rule talks about which values in a, in a set of data are unusually large or which ones are unusually small. And it's based on the standard deviation. And this is for most data sets, not just for normal distributions, but it definitely does apply for normal distribution. So let's say I've got my, my normal distribution of lengths of blades of grass from my mower, and let's say I know the mean is approximately three inches, and let's say that uh, I measure out two standard deviations. Now for this example, uh, Let's make up a number for the standard deviation. Let's say it's uh, let's say it's half an inch. So the standard deviation equals one half inch. The range rule says start with the mean and go out in either direction from the mean that is above it, two standard deviations, and go below the mean, two standard deviations, as I've got marked here. And in this case, since I've said the standard deviation is a half an inch, two halves are whole. So this would put me out to four inches. And over here on the left side, I'd be at two inches. So in this example here, we're talking about the range of two inches to four inches. The range rule says specifically the normal, usual values that I could expect to find are going to fall between two inches and four inches two standard deviations in either direction of the mean. It also says any values bigger than four inches or any values smaller than two inches should be considered unusual and rare. That is, if my standard deviation from my mowing is half an inch, then I can expect that any blades of grass I find less than two inches or any blades of grass I find longer than four inches would be very unusual. Now, let's go find out what the empirical rule can tell us about my mowing. All right, now let's see what the empirical rule has to say about the lice of my blades of grass. The empirical rule says if we have a normal distribution and we start at the mean and we're saying here's three inches and if we have a, a calculated the standard deviation, so let's, let's make up a number here for this example. Let's uh, once again say our standard deviation, my mower is doing a good job and it's just one fourth of an inch. Okay? The empirical rule says if I go out one standard deviation on either side, of the mean, in this case I'm between two and three quarter inches and three and one quarter inches, then 68% of all my blades of grass will fall within these two lengths. Going on one standard deviation uh, encompasses 68% of all the data values. If we go out another standard deviation on either side, so in this example, if we go out to here, which would bring me out another quarter of an inch to three and a half, and then to the left of that, takes me up to two and a half. If now I have a range of two and a half to three and a half, or two standard deviations on either side of the mean, the empirical rule says that will encompass 95% of all your data values. That is 95% of all the lengths of blades of grass that I had cut and measured. So here I'm out 95%. The empirical hat rule has one more thing to say. If we go out one more standard deviation away from the mean, so in my example here, I now clear out to three and three quarter inches, and over here I'd be out to just two and one quarter inches. If I take my distribution out in either direction that far, that what we're saying that this many standard deviations will encompass 
99.7% of all the data values, or in my example, 99.7% of all the blades of grass that I made, 99.7%. That's a pretty big percent. That's almost 100%. When you're, when you're out three standard deviations a week away from the mean in a normal distribution, you've accounted for just about every possible value. There still may be a few beyond these in either end, but they're not going to be very many. So that's our discussion of what statistics can say about uh, a normal distribution in general and about how my mower is doing specifically.